Hi everybody, Robert Rook here. Today is September 18th, 2014, and it's day 25. Well, I hope you've all had a really good day. My day's been really long, really packed, really busy, so just getting around to uh, doing uh, the daily video now. Uh, I spent most of the day doing YouTube, well, uploading videos. Um, I'm going to keep a channel very simple. Unfortunately, no background music, no fancy editing, no titles, nothing spectacular, superb. Uh, originally, I wanted to make a production of everything, but then again, I'm pretty mellow, simple, and basic. So I figured there was enough personalities out there with these epic, juicing weight loss videos. So. For the time being, I'm just going to continue doing my thing uh, with the video blogs, whatever. Now, I'm sure you've noticed that every single video I introduce myself, that is strictly for the newcomers. Um, not that I will have a following, but I just want to welcome people, you know, and give them a date and time so that way they can figure out what's going on and then you know, go back through the history if they want to see other videos or maybe they'll look forward to upcoming videos. There's quite a few things that I haven't really talked about. One of the things with this is your mouth always feels disgusting, like literally disgusting. Um, it, it tastes, you know, like the, the texture of a peach, that fuzzy feeling, That that's what your teeth feel like. and. I mean, I brush my teeth two to four times a day, depending. It's kind of just a, a really uncomfortable, just a, a thick, heavy residue that coats the teeth. Now, I already have bad enamel, so I, I don't know what this is doing to my teeth. Hopefully, you know, I'm brushing them enough. I know I have cavities and other stuff that eventually I need to get taken care of, but for the, the main part, you know, right now it's just trying to keep the fuzz out of my mouth, so to speak. The other thing is, your teeth are very tender, at least mine personally are. I've heard other people say that for some odd reason when they do this, their, their teeth become very sensitive. Again, in my case, it could be the poor enamel. I'm not sure, so that's one thing to keep in mind if you have irritable teeth or gums or sensitive teeth either slow down or you might want to have some over-the-counter product or something on hand because the teeth they, they get pretty tender but you're not chewing so it's more just of a more of a faint background kind of throbbing you know no, nothing excruciating but you, you know it's there and between that and your teeth feeling sticky you kind of have the the tendency to and you'll feel them stick and they just feel gross so the other thing I've noticed probably the last three four days I've been really really cold I mean nightfall comes I think it's average temperatures around here upper 60s a little 70s but I noticed that before I could really handle the, the outside temperature and for as heavy as I am and you know yo-yoing and been heavy my whole life I can do cold I've noticed the only other time in my life when uh, I was this cold all the time was when I was way underweight and that was a long time ago and I've been comfortable for years so these um, internal you know chills and shivers you're constantly feeling you have to be prepared yourself to be on the cool side so depending on how and where you live climatically you might want to invest in a sweatshirt or something like that uh, I wish there was more to report there's really not I'm just plugging away chugging away and still drinking the juice I believe it was a few days ago I included a recipe in the, the link for the video that's still my go-to it makes things easy I I still enjoy it I, I don't want to say it's incredible or anything because everybody will probably think something different it I you know I was just I did that completely just on grabbing fruits and vegetables here and there and going with what worked and tastes good 
Well, I did some looking at some of the recipes, and it, it's similar to recipes, but there's a lot of added greens. For a newbie or someone just starting, I wouldn't recommend doing it the first time out. I don't know. It could be 40 to 60 percent, you know, heavy leafy greens. So until your sub stomach builds up a tolerance to it, I I don't. I really haven't done the research to see if that much vitamin A and C and K is good for you or how well all that iron and potassium and everything else is. But there's people that make juices that have anywhere from four to eight leaves of kale. So being that I have a kale spinach mixer with a bunch of different or organic salads that are pre-mixed in the store, you know, I, I, I don't know, it, it's variety as far as everything else. I don't mind the taste, like I said, it doesn't taste good, but it doesn't taste bad. And I, I always, it, it's kind of weird, You, at least for me, I'm starting to the point where sometimes I get a buzz, you know, I'm kind of jonesing for something to eat and I'll drink that and within like three minutes I'm just like oh and it, it's kind of interesting and things settle down as you flush it out with water and everything else so I don't know well that, that that will do it for tonight so I will see you tomorrow be good to yourselves take care and have a wonderful weekend bye